ball game here on EA Sports. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second and goal now as they look to add a few more points here onto their total. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Stretch that lead out even further. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline. And I think this one might just be over. They took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. This one counts. So here comes Alex Smith as he'll lead his guys up to the line to go for two. concerned about when you throw that route is to make sure your offensive linemen use their leverage to get the hands of the defensive front down so you can throw it through that little bit of crowd and get it to the receiver. In this event, they did, but a nice play by the defender knocking it away. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken in the end zone. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Amendola, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. It's I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. Amendola catching it left side. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. And a good throw here. That's complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. First down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. It's 30. That is caught inside the five. And he'll get into the end 
zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Kenny Galladay with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Lions are able to cut into this lead. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that. So two scores down. Time definitely not an ally. But here comes the onside kick. And this will be recovered by Washington. And that should just about do it. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Throwing now, Smith. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football and be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. Now, that is his game, and that's what they're going to run. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. It's a gain of 15, and that ought to just about put an end to this one. Washington. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Second and ten. Smith now to throw. He'll have a first down inside the ten. The Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Smith. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Steven Sims Jr. with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And Washington going to add on to their lead. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Smith throwing again. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth-quarter lead. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it, because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius, as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Jamal Agnew now to return it. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Jamal Agnew on the return. The Lions 
take over first and 10. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? It was way to him. Like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as they continue to as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Washington, they inch closer to respectability now at three and six on the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, for the Lions, their season is on life support somewhat now at three and six. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Carolina Panthers. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.